everybody. Today we are going to be talking about how to free up phone storage space or the phone memory space on your Android. And I'll be using Samsung J7 Pro. And we are going to talk about eight different ways which you can create more space in your phone. And the first three will be the most obvious ones which normally you'll get from anybody uh, telling you to do exactly that. Uh, the first one will be deleting music. Number two will be deleting videos and images. Number three will be uninstalling apps. Then from there we'll be talking about how to move files from the internal memory to the SD card or vice versa. Number five will be talking about clearing cards. Number six will be talking about how to clean up data. And number seven will be talking about how to change the storage location of your camera. Number eight will be deleting folders created by your phone unwillingly and therefore consuming more space. Now, let's start with uh, deleting music. Deleting music can be done in two ways. Number one will be through your, your, your music player. Here I use Play Music by, by Google Play. So when you go to the music player and select the songs, the far right hand corner you will see uh, the three dots which you will give you a drop down list which has delete at the uh, at the last then you just click uh, delete and then say okay uh, the other way you can do it is use my files go to my files which is normally in the in the samsung widget which is created uh, it's a uh, default before when you're buying your phone if you have another another phone maybe you can see what it is named where you get all your files so you go uh, to whatever you want to delete let's say it's uh, here let's say let's find for music music is here so you you long press and then down the left at the right bottom corner you can see delete so you just click delete and then confirm delete and it will be deleted for me right now i don't want to delete uh, number two is deleting videos and images this one you can go to uh, let's say the folder which has the videos and images also i light whatever you want to delete those are the images you can also get a video um, where you want and then uh, let's say you want to delete that you also go ahead and delete just the same way we did with the music and then also if you want the videos you go to the folder where the videos are right now i don't have video in my internal in my internal storage let's see if the sd also has yeah it has you can select any video you want and also delete just the same way i showed you uh, there's also another way to delete your videos and images go to the gallery uh, open where your videos are let's say your videos are here you also uh, long press and also delete is also on the uh, bottom right hand corner so basically you can delete uh, videos and images also images like this one you can also go ahead and delete move to recycle being done then uh, the next one is uninstalling apps you go to your settings go to apps and then uh, beside whichever app you want to uninstall say you wanted to uninstall on um, ebay go then click uninstall it will ask you do you want to uninstall just say okay then it will be uninstalled for you now the other way that you can be able to free up more phone memory is through moving files from the internal memory to the sd card or vice versa which you'll do using my files again go to my files let's say you want to move from the internal memory to the sd card say you want to move music what you do you long press then i light what you want to move then click on the left bottom and corner 
you click move then it will ask you move here you don't want to, to move the same place so you go to your sd card where you wanted to move uh, let's say you want to move to the downloads you move here then it will start moving then voila everything has been moved here yeah here, here all selected with n which means they are new here then the fifth one is clearing catch clearing catch can be done uh, by going to to the to the to the the app you want to clear catch from and then you select the app info then go to storage and then from this top you can you can go from your top left hand corner you can see clear data and clear cache on your right hand side so you can clear cache through here yeah but the one which i prefer most because i have so many apps i use an app called a vast cleanup right here so if you can you can go to your android device uh, the google uh, uh, the, your play store and download it it's free and then it will give you what you have is free space and then tell you it can it will bring you the space that it can clear like now you can see it has showed me 56 mb so basically what you just need to do is to click at the center of that circle and then it will tell you checking for junk files it will run the whole um, phone and bring you its analysis and as you can see it has an analysis of 1.4 GB. One thing to note here is that these thumbnails sometimes will not count when they are when the when when the mem when the when when the memory is cleared up. You may notice that it will not add 1.4 GB. Basically, it will add the difference 559. Let's see, it was 2.3. So let's see uh, where it will get to when uh, we finish cleaning. Uh, with together with the thumbnails so it will run they to tell you cleaning hidden catch because the advantage of this one it will say that is cleaning the hidden catch and also the catch that you can see so basically i prefer it because it's short it will run all the apps instead of me going up by up Sorry, I just needed to remove that so that I can't uh, can't be disturbed when uh, when when we are talking. I guess it's manners. <laughs> so it's done. Says saved 1.4 GB. Uh, now it's 2.8. Like I told you, it was 2.3. It didn't include the 884 from the thumbnails. It has only added the 500. That's why it's 2.8 GB. So you've basically uh, from the catch cleared 500 MB. Then the next one is the app data. Cleaning the app data. Cleaning the app data will go basically per app. The reason I choose to go per app is because if you select uh, many apps together, there are apps that will be disrupted. Either you lose your passwords, you lose uh, let's say if you are a game and you have a game, you lose the data of how of what you had played, and therefore you have to go and start from zero. So basically, what I normally do is just go to app, and then go to storage. You open the app individually, go to storage, and then clear data. As you can see, the data here it's that 6.42. So when you clear data. It will create for you a space of that 6.42 so basically if you go and do the same for as many apps as you can you'll have cleared very many apps and you'll have gotten you'll have freed a lot of memory number seven is changing the storage location for your camera changing the storage location of your camera you will do basically in this way go to the camera then the settings so you'll click on camera then click the settings of the camera it's on the right uh, left hand 
uh, top corner, then the storage location. So if you prefer your images to be saved in the SD card and that's where the space is, uh, you select SD card. If the internal storage is where you choose, select internal storage. That's basically what you do. Now, number eight is basically deleting folders that have been automatically created by your phone without your knowledge. So you go to my files. When you open your internal storage, you'll notice that there are phones, there, there are folders like this Android folder, which has been created. And basically you may not know, but it holds a lot of space. If you long press it, just select it. See it has 311 MB, which is basically being consumed by files that you don't know. So basically what you do is delete. when you delete it will run as you can see there are so many things that are there then to delete it will go back to normal but sometimes it may also cause uh, a problem but you'd rather have a problem with one or two apps than have a problem with all your phone when it is running slow and uh, basically those are the eight ways in which you can clean up your phone memory thank you very much for listening and i wish that you subscribe if you've liked the video and also go into my playlist of how and be able to watch more videos more interesting videos which i've been able to compile for you thank you very much